So that's four steps, four things that happened there. Number one, the thief acknowledged that he was a sinner, that he committed crimes that were worthy of death. The Bible says that death is eternal separation from God. That's what we deserve for our sins. And number two, he says that Jesus was sinless. He didn't deserve the punishment that he was receiving. And that's what made Jesus that perfect sacrifice, that substitutional sacrifice for us, for our sins. And number three, he asked for forgiveness. He said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And that's him asking for forgiveness. He acknowledged that he was sinful, that Jesus was not, and that Jesus was paying in something that he didn't owe. So then he asked for forgiveness. And then finally, you have step four, which is to accept the free gift of salvation. Because there's a transaction that's taking place there. You're acknowledging that you have a sinful nature and Jesus has a sinless nature and you're trading that off. So basically Jesus is giving you his righteousness in exchange for your sin. That's a transaction you have to accept that grace and that salvation.